Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Creating This Home. Welcome. If you are new here, I am Kayla, a married mother with five children. And today I am going to be doing a get it all done. So I'm going to be doing some laundry and refreshing my bedroom as well as my dining room. I'm going to be getting some schoolwork done and also letting you guys know how our homeschool journey is going so far with us being six years into homeschooling. So I'm starting out with getting caught up on some laundry and most of this laundry is my laundry with a little sprinkle of it being my children's. <laughs> my children love to take baths in my bathtub. So that is how I end up with just a sprinkle of their laundry mixed in with mine, which I don't really mind at all because it just is a reminder of how little they are and the fact that they're still in their youth and they're healthy and you know, all is well. I thank God for these little pieces of clothes that keep me humbled and you know, remind me that, Hey, I'm doing a good job. So I'm so thankful for that. What I'm not thankful for, however, is that y'all will see that I am stuffing clothes in my drawer again. <laughs> It is time for me to go through my dresser and just declutter. I have been saying that time and time again, but it has hit the peak where there's nothing that I can fit in here. And I'm just really shoving things in this dresser. And I know better. I know better. I know that this is a no, no, because if it were my children's drawers, I would certainly have went through and decluttered already. But because you know, I'm mama and I put myself on the back burner a lot. I tend to hoard or hold on to a lot more things. And when I do have time to get it done, I don't feel like it. <laughs> and when I'm not, when I don't have enough time to get it done, I'm like, oh shoot, I should be getting this done. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to put what I can away and what I can't, you know, it's just going to go in my closet and really what's going on here is that I got a few new pieces of clothes that serve me better. Um, and the ones that I'm holding on to or hoarding are the ones that I can no longer fit. And I'm just like, Oh, well, you know, we all do that. Uh, all of us women do that. <laughs> I'll be this size again one day. So, you know, but it's really just getting rid of the clothes, letting it go and letting someone else have those clothes because they are really good clothes. They're not heavily worn. And I can, I know that I can bless someone else with those clothes and let them have something to keep them warm or something that helps them feel confident about themselves. So that's what I'm going to have to do is just make a video with decluttering my dresser as well as my closet because things are spilling out my closet as well. <laughs> so I'm going to finish hanging up these last few pieces that belong in my closet. And then I am going to get on with my bedroom refresh. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I Now that I have conquered my laundry as well as my children's laundry I am just going to move into making my bed And I am a firm believer in making your bed Because overall it just leads to better health so when you're able to perform better in the day and you're able to be more productive because you've had a good night's rest, it's much better overall on your mental state as well. So I am just one of those that encourage my children as well to make their beds. And if their beds don't get made, such is life, you know, <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely one of those that still encourage them to but if they don't get around to it in a day you know i let them be kids i let children be children 
Also, I love coming in my room and seeing my bed made because it just ties the whole room together. And when you have a clean space, you're able to just start fresh mentally and be able to be more productive in the space that you're in. So I work from my desk a lot. I have a desk in my room and I am a student. So I'm often at my desk and being able to just have a clean, clear space. And because my desk is in my room, it is very important for me to make my bed so that I can stay organized and I'm not all cluttered and jumbled up mentally because, you know, my space is just not well cleaned or just not in the best condition. So I love making my bed because being able to have a space and a place that I can work from that is just organized and clean just really helps me to stay focused on the task at hand. So now that I have tackled my bed, I am just going to go ahead and tackle the tops of my nightstands. This is generally where I set my diffuser as well as any water that I take to bed with me at night. Um, I have to have water next to me. Let me know down in the comments if you're one of those that have to have something to drink next to you when you go to sleep because that is my staple for nighttime. That's what seals the deal. You know I'm going to bed when I have a glass of water <laughs> next to me. But um, I'm just wiping down the top surfaces of my nightstands. And because I house my diffuser up here, the mist from it the little droplets get on top of the nightstands and just create residue so that's what I'm wiping down and any dust that's up there as well I'm also going to do the same thing to my husband's side um, with his nightstand so it is important to me to get this done weekly so that we are not breathing in any dust or debris while we are sleeping table that I call my communication piece because this is where my husband and I sit during the evenings as we're communicating and I'm just giving this table as well as the tray a good wipe down so that it can be dust free as well since we do tend to sit around this table a lot during the evenings. I really enjoy having this set up in my room because it allows for my husband and I to be closer whenever we are communicating and then on top of that it's not like we're slouching in the bed and there's nothing wrong with talking when you're in the bed but I just love having this area this dedicated area in my room that we are able to just come and converse around and if we have any drinks or anything like that we're able to utilize this table so it's always been like a fun piece for me I recently got a new vacuum and this is the Tenneco A11 Pet Pro I love this thing not only is the battery life superb however the suction on this thing is phenomenal. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that I used to have a Red Key P9 and I raved about that thing. However, this vacuum is much, much better than that. And you know, it does come with a pretty heavy sticker tag. However, for the price, it is definitely worth it. So I'm going to finish up with vacuuming up my room and then I'm going to move into my dining room.
I often utilize my dining room table to study because I am a student of computer science and this is my last year of college. <laughs> I have worked so hard and I am so proud of myself to be in my last year of college. Here I am just studying with a few classmates and I have been told that I am the best note taker ever. So here I am just showing off my notes and letting the other students in my class know that you can do it. I'm all about motivation and positive positivity so I am always trying to encourage the other students in my class that come on we can do this we're on the home stretch we got this so I love to study in my dining room because it is a change of scenery for me as I do work in my room a lot at my desk so being able to be in my dining room is a way that I'm able to have direct access to my children and they have access to me as well when they're homeschooling so I love to be at this dining room table whenever they are homeschooling so they have if they have any issues or any questions or any they need any help I'm able to just go ahead and help them right here at this table so I'm going to go ahead and get this table picked up and proceed to get everything clean Bet I'm So I am just removing the chairs from the table so that I can get a good wipe down on the table as well as vacuum the floors. And I have to stop and say that I am just so grateful, thankful, and blessed to have this space in my house because my children and I eat around this table every night for dinner as well as my husband. And it's such a blessing to have a space that accommodates a large family of seven. Even when we're not eating dinner here, my children have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here, sometimes snacks, or they may have snacks at the homeschool room table. You know, it just depends, but just to have a space that accommodates us is truly a blessing. Although I am tackling simpler chores today, I just want to let you know that you do not have to be motivated alone and you do not have to do homemaking alone. I am here for you. Put me on your TV, put me on your tablet, your phone, whatever. I am a friend here in your corner to let you know that you do not have to do mom life alone. You don't have to do life in general alone. And even if you know folding clothes or washing dishes or you know wiping down tables are a little bit too much for you to do today I don't know what stage of your life you are in but you know it could be an ailment it could be your new mom it could be you know you're in the thick of having multiple children or maybe you've raised your children and you're retired now or whatever it may be you know you do not have to do homemaking alone. I am here for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you do not miss whenever I do upload. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you like cleaning motivation. I know for me as a mom of five, I don't always feel like doing these tasks, nor do I always feel like cleaning my house. But I know that is the reward of having a clean house means that you know my children get to enjoy um, themselves a little bit more without kicking things all over the floor or you know they have plates and cups and spoons ready for them to eat out of or to drink out of or you know when it comes down to vacuuming the floor you know they're not stepping on crumbs and I'm not stepping on crumbs and they have a clean table to eat at so that that is the way that I reward myself is by thinking positive and knowing that you know there is a reward maybe it's not a tangible reward however there is a reward and there is a finish line and so these things make me feel good when I have a clean home I have a clean mind
We are six years into our homeschooling journey and it could not be going better. In the beginning, we had a rough start. It was quite a bit of a roller coaster as we didn't know what worked best for us, what, what did work best for us, the learning styles of each child, you know, all of that goes into homeschooling. So especially when you're homeschooling multiple grades, each child responds differently to, you know, different subjects and each child thinks differently. So they're not all the same. They're not all going to perform the same, but I'm just so thankful and grateful to be able to say that my testimony is that my children are not only performing well in their grade level, but they are exceeding their grade level. And I think that is because I take so much time with them and letting them know that, you know, hey, you got this, you can do it. And the times that they do struggle or you know, they're having a hard time. It's because we're learning something new and they have just gotten adjusted to whatever it was that we have finished and conquered and they want to continue to do that thing. But you know, as with any school, you have to progress. And so seeing my children progress has been very beautiful and to see them continue to strive and thrive has been very beautiful as well so i'm so thankful and grateful for our homeschooling journey here i am just checking their homework and i do this once every other day so i do this every other day where i get my computer out and i'm just going through their um, assignments and making sure they they got everything done my children email me and let me know um if they have any questions or they email me and let me know that they didn't finish something or that they completed all assignments. So we have a very good communication and the small ones, if they don't finish something or if they do finish something, they will give themselves a heart or a question mark. So we have a little system going that works good for our family. And we're so thankful. It is very rare that my children don't finish their work because for one, they're homeschooled. <laughs> and for two, you know, I'm always here to help them out. So if they, if I ever get a question mark for, from the little ones, I know it's because either they're being stubborn or it's because, um, they're sick that day. So, um, and that happens, that happens because life is life, but I'm just going over their work and making sure that they completed everything and that they're on grade level and that they have all of their tasks in a row. And so I typically put these grades down in my computer and you'll see that I'll, I'll do some computer work here in a second and just, um, put in any notes that I need to put in and, you know, see where each child is and where they're lacking or where they're progressing or whatever it may be. But our homeschooling journey has been quite unique as I am their sole educator and we have all different grades um, from eighth grade to kindergarten. So I have two eighth graders. I have a fourth grader. I'm sorry, a fifth grader. I have a first grader and then a kindergartner so it's been quite unique to homeschool so many different grades but I think I've got it down packed now so I'm quite happy about that so I'm just going to go ahead and put their things away and you're going to see at the end of the video where all of their books that they completed I'm going to put those away as well and grab out new books for them so that they'll be ready for the week ahead
just like with any other room in my house i'm just going to go ahead and get this room wiped down vacuumed and tidy typically i don't try to clean this room during the week um, i wait into the weekend or fridays to try to clean this room because we spend so much time in here and i just love seeing what my children can craft and create and i love seeing them at this table and it you know their little mess reminds me that they are working hard and just doing what they're supposed to do as far as being schooling children as well as being children in general so I typically don't touch this room until the weekend and then I'll go through um, the basket as you've seen and I'll just go ahead and pull out any artwork or any work that they've done that we don't need to keep. So that is how I keep the papers at bay as well as um, anything that is unnecessary for this room. So I'm just getting the bean bags out and these bean bags are where my children sit every single day and read to the little ones as well as you know just for comfort if they need a break from just sitting at the table and they want to sit on one of the bean bags and complete their work they can so i love the way that our homeschool room is it's right in the front of our house so we are just so fortunate and blessed to have a school room in our house and you know when i first thought about homeschooling our children um my husband and i when we first thought about homeschooling our children we were thinking about um which area would be the designated area to have them homeschool in and we started out in our living room just on our sofa and utilizing the floor there and then I was like well you know this room initially was a playroom so I was like you know let's just get a table and see how that works out so we got a table and we got three chairs at first and so they would at that time we only had three children in school so it worked out pretty well and then we were like okay well we're adding two more um, we'll add two more chairs might as well add three because the smaller kids are going to need it and they always wanted to sit at the table when they seen the bigger three sit at the table so we added three more chairs and that is how the homeschool room became the homeschool room <laughs> so we of course added um our little cork boards and then we added our white boards and my children utilize these white boards all the time even when they're not in school um, if they want to remember something or if they want to write down something besides having google they will write down whatever it is that we need like toilet paper or paper towels or we need more um, growth collaborative or something like that. You know, just a friendly reminder to me. They'll write it on the board. And then, you know, my little ones, they love to draw on the board. So that is just cute, too. I'm always taking pictures of them drawing on the board or um, what they have drawn on the board. So that has been such a blessing. But here is my children's work that they have finished. And I'm going to put this away and i just want to say to all of you that have stuck around to the end of the video i am so thankful to have you all here i am so thankful that you all want to be here and you have stuck around to the end of the video thank you so much for your time thank you so much for listening to me and watching these videos and you know you all are amazing and again just letting you know that you do not have to do this homeschooling journey or if you're not homeschooling you do not have to do this homemaking journey alone you know you definitely have a friend here on youtube that is here to motivate you and encourage you and let you know that whatever it is in your life whether it's your career whether it's homemaking whether it's being a mom whether whatever it may be you don't have to do it alone you have somebody in your corner that is rooting that is cheering for you that is letting you know that you can whatever it is you can thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of this video again i truly appreciate it i truly appreciate you guys giving me a big thumbs up subscribing to this channel as well as hitting that notification bell so you do not miss out on any time that i do upload i want to say to you all that y'all are amazing from the bottom of my heart you all are truly amazing creating this home has hit 
well over 800 and it's been blowing my mind that I'm so close to a thousand and there's almost a thousand of you all here it's just been incredible to think about so I'm just going to leave you off with a few words of encouragement and letting you know that not only are you amazing but whatever stage in life you are in just be thankful be thankful be grateful and be blessed I will see you all next time bye for you now